Packers, Colts. This ought to be good. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the RCA Dome. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth, and Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. Rodgers is a quarterback with excellent mobility. If he doesn't see something happening downfield or the pocket breaks down, he doesn't mind scrambling in the least. I'll tell you what, Dan, his teammate isn't too shabby either. Number 28 is just a great all-around running back. He's got speed, vision, jukes, power, a little bit of everything. A talented duo to be certain. They just might make the difference out there. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first... Phillip Rivers goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A nice the dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible acting down from the on. Rodgers airs this one to the left sideline and it's complete Packers. at the 22. Rodgers doesn't hold anything back with a dynamite toss. Worth another look. He hits his man cold, way on the other side of the... Face on a quarterback for crying out loud. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number 11 catches the bullet out left, and he's in for the... He's going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big... He just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the O-line, Dan? The completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is... Rodgers throws a big high lob, and it's caught at the 47. Eventually tackled at the 36. That will bring up first down. Rodgers made a great throw, even though he was off balance. And his weight was on the wrong foot. <laughs> Didn't matter. Still connected. And Peter, we've talked... <laughs> Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Packers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Phillip Rivers would find his target on this one. The Packers midway through the first, the ball at the 20. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 19-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Colt towards the end of the first quarter. Colt's behind by seven. Burton found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. The Packers on defense. Rhodes shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Packers ahead, seven to nothing. Phillip Rivers needed to be on target here, and he was. A seven-yard touchdown for the Colts. The Colts tie it up seven all. The Packers midway through the second. The Packers on offense at the 25-yard line. Number 29 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Colts still midway through the second. Game tied seven all. Number 13 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. The Packers back on offense after a missed field goal. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard play that set up a Packer field goal, but they couldn't connect. Game tied, seven all. Phillip Rivers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up an automatic 21-yard field goal. The Packers late into the second quarter. Rodgers is back to throw, and when he gets an opportunity to step up, these are the kind of throws he makes. This was a big one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts are holding on to a lead, 10 to seven. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 96 has taken over this game. So that Rogers throws a high, long one to the right, and it's caught at the 50, 20, 10, touchdown, and Packers. touchdown.
Adams makes the catch and then takes it for a great run here. Now he's got it. If you give him the room, he'll be happy to take it from you. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it. He's covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's his first touchdown. Rodgers throws the pass, and the reception's made at the eight. He's in for the touchdown. Number 11 keeps the party going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe his job is too far. I don't know about shocking, but turf feeding, yes. Rivers gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's intercepted. Pushed out at the 32. Perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. Number 96 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about That's focus and persistence. Regulation. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, he could say that again. So far, he's got 10 tackles and 8 sacks. And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top 38-17. to For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Adams came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. An 80-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers take their first lead in the half and go up by four. The Colts come right back. Taylor on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 58-yard play that set up a Colt touchdown. The Packers answering right back. Packers down by three. Rodgers would find his target on this one. Again, they take the lead and go up by four. The Colts on D. King shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Colts trailing 21-17. Number 23 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Already inside field goal range, Rodgers connected with his man on this one. An 18-yard touchdown for the Packers. Colts losing by 11. Number 31 would come up with the big play to kill a drive, as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Packers have it off an interception. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a piece of cake 18-yard field goal. Packers leading 31 to 17. Number 25 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Packers. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers serve up a blowout 38 to 17. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. Guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Number 96 is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly and led your team to a big win. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? Uh, I gotta give it up to our offense. They were firing on all cylinders and moving the chains all day long. I mean, we play well when our back's against the wall, but it's nice when you don't have to. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN, celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.